Hey guys, <clears throat> how are you doing? We had an awesome day today. Um, got a lot of things accomplished. Yeah, that's better. How's that? Hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. Okay. So, uh, we had a job today where we had to uh, go behind a fence um, in a real tight area. And they had just bought a newer home and the homeowner association just lets everything grow right up against the fence. So we were able to, this is why the mini skid is so good. And the mini skid <clears throat> with a mini uh, bush hog attachment. We were able to squeeze through a narrow passageway and mow our way to it, three or four houses down in Moa area where we were working, mow everything back, all the weeds, the brush, a couple little tiny saplings, just kind of mow everything down. And then when the, basically it's close to preserve, so everything that um, everything that's there can't be hauled out. You have to kind of leave it. So basically we dropped the limbs and mulched them up. And the neighbors had a couple mulch, uh, a couple limbs. We mulched them up on the way. So we were able to clean that whole pathway out. So there's a little bit of buffer between the weeds and the fence. And uh, hopefully the homeowner association will be able to maintain that. <clears throat> but uh, they had rainy pool they had a bunch of uh, brush and stuff hanging over the fence and leaves going into the pool and uh, they actually have a little bit of a buffer and they have like a uh, basically concrete that comes down there's about four or five feet um, that uh, it's kind of like a bulkhead before their fence well it was still getting into their pool so now everything's back we even there's a couple pine trees i climbed up and trimmed all the lower branches that were hanging over the pool so now they'll have very minimal cleanup so homer was very happy and she's going to call us back because they have um they own some real estate and uh they might be buying some more land to uh, uh get cleaned up <clears throat> so we will see all right get my little spectacles on here um got a package in the mail today and we finally got our tires. We got all the tires but one tire. So I'll be able to put the 12 or 14 ply tires on my extra trailer that I finally got back. All right. No packing slip. Oh, there it is. All right. What is this? This is stainless steel camping plates, cups, um, bowl set camping dish stain 24 set uh, piece set 3.5 inch 8.6 plates for camping um, 64 bucks 59.90 plus tax and shipping so the reason I did this is because uh, I live in a condo we only have a certain amount of plate place for dishes and cups and I'm trying to get organized and I have the same plates and dishes that I've had for years and I'm like you know what for 60 bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and get what I want because I don't really like glass unless it's. I really wanted, um, I wanted a uh, tempered glass set, but it's hard to find, and I didn't want to buy something and not be what I wanted. So this is the next best thing to tempered glass. The only problem with this is you can't put it in the microwave. <laughs> so let's see what we got here, and it takes up a lot less room. Everything now is like. You, dra you, you drop it and it breaks. Um, and then it takes up a lot of room. These are not supposed to take up any room, hardly. And I don't have any very many bowls. The only problem is they're kind of shallow because they're made for camping. But these are gonna be fine for me. Isn't that cool? And they have like a little thing. And then if you ever do go camping, <laughs> you're set. <laughs> or if you ever move, you can put everything into one. So you get, uh, I like the, these are perfect size bowls for me. This is about the size of the bowl I like for cereal. And they'll never break, never rust, never bust. They might scratch up a little bit, but other than that, and then you got the little bowls. It's like dog bowls. <laughs> it's like the dog pound and you got these little tiny things I 
but what's nice is, see how nice and compact they are? I'll be able to fit all this in my cupboard and I won't have tons of room left. I'm gonna get rid of all my uh, breakables. And then these, I mean, you get like so much stuff. Look at that. I don't even know what that's for. It's like a, that's for shit on the shingle, I guess. I don't know, is that, I don't know. I'll find a use for it. But see if you have guests over, you got plenty of dishes. And then also too, <laughs> they don't eat very much. <laughs> All right. I'll try to put this back in this bag so I don't get it too, too much garbage going everywhere. Put my knife away. So look at look at all this stuff, man. There's a, another. You can tell it's camping wear because it's real shallow. But you'll never run out of dishes. <laughs> it's almost like disposable. They're so they're, they fit so tightly together. I can feed like a whole army and still have dishes left. All right, and the, the only thing it takes up room is these little. Those are those are cool though. Check those out. It's almost like it'll keep your coffee hot and your soup hot and your uh, milk cold. It's kind of like pretty thick. I like those. I like I might order some bigger ones though cuz these are these are good for like orange juice and stuff like that. But um, sometimes you probably want a little more. But I, I also have a Ninja. I just drink out of that cup if I want bigger more volume. And then you get this awesome little kit if you want to go camping. You can put everything in here. Who knows, I might use this for my chainsaw bag. My climbing gear or something, I don't know. And then, I guess it, it twists. It's impossible to open, is that what it is? Well, I guess it's been stuck together for so long, it doesn't want to open. Am I missing something? I don't know. I think it twists or something. See, it's giving me a hard time. I've never had one of these, so I don't know how it's supposed to work. I feel like I'm breaking it. not doing something right and then <laughs> I don't know what that's for I guess you can I guess if you're camping that's what you need right and then it also oh you can oh cool it has a zipper thing so you can take one thing out at a time or you can unzip the whole thing oh you know this would be good for this would be a great uh, throw ball bag you put your throw ball string in there and then you can pull it out and then you can collapse it so who knows maybe i'll use this for my throw ball <laughs> so anyway let's put this in here you fit all your all your stuff in there and all your cups and then some and you can probably put your napkins paper towels look at that it all fits in there still has room left so and it's a pretty nice little carrying case. I think it, if that comes off or what, but pretty decent, decent little setup for 60 bucks. So <laughs> anyway, 
This is Roger with Roger's Reviews on the stainless steel camping set. Dishes and plates and a bucket and uh, some paracord. So I guess if you're camping, you know what that's for. You can, there's probably a thousand different things you can use par par paracord for. But you know what I use it for? It is a starter cable for my chainsaws. It even has a handle. <laughs> so if you if your if your saw cord breaks, I got extra saw cord. I got a handle if my handle breaks, temporary. And I gotta also have a uh, basket for my throw ball and for my little climbing gear. That'd be a good place for pulleys and little uh, apparatuses. Like maybe uh, you know, be cool too is your um, use this for your climbing bag and put like a small a small rope in there for uh, climbing and all your little climbing gear stuff too. Anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews. Thinking of more ways you can use stuff for climbing. <laughs> Have a great day.